Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the KD Adventures and in today's video we're going to be comparing two of the biggest and best Disney parks in the whole world. Now both these Disney parks they are they're both incredible they're both very very good parks and not only that they are pretty similar to one another too but there are a few different uh, aspects of the parks and a few differences that do make them stand out from one another. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing those differences and ultimately come up with which park is the best one. So the parks we're going to be comparing today are the Magic Kingdom, which can be found at Walt Disney World in Florida, and also Disneyland Park, which can be found at Disneyland Paris. Now, both of these parks, they are both incredible. They're both amazing in their own ways. Uh, and as I said, they are pretty similar to one another. They are the, the castle parks of their resorts. Uh, so what I tell you today, these are some of these are my opinions, so you might have your own opinions on the parks, but they are both incredible, but we're going to try and decide which one is the best one. But first, before we get on into the video, if you do enjoy watching, make sure to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and you're feeling extra cheeky, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Now I found out that 94.1% of viewers aren't currently subscribed to the channel. Now every time someone subscribes to the channel, it really does mean the world to me and it really does help out of the channel as well. So it would be great if you can subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing because we make plenty of theme park and Disney and Universal and SeaWorld and Alter Towers and Fort Park and all the theme park related videos here at the KD Adventures which you don't want to miss. Ooh, also, before we get on into the video, my band Phoenix Lake have just released their first bit of merchandise which I'm wearing in today's video. So if you fancy checking us out, if you fancy checking out the merchandise, then I'll leave links down in the description below where you can check it out. First of all, let's talk about prices. Now of course, it all depends on where you live in the world and how far away you are from each of the parks. For example, with Magic Kingdom, it costs an absolute fortune to get there from here in the UK. Um, but with Disneyland Paris, it's it's not as much. It's still expensive, uh, but nowhere near as much as it costs to go to uh, Orlando from here in the UK. But obviously, if you live in the Orlando area, or even if you live in America, I can imagine it is going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, but going off ticket prices and, and all the hotels and stuff like that, um, there is it does tend to be a big jump. Now, you've got to look at the size of each of the resorts. Uh, with Disney World, you've got four theme parks and you've got two water parks as well. So you're getting a lot for your money. Um, but with Disneyland Paris, you've only got the two parks and that is uh, the Disneyland Park and also Walt Disney Studios. So of course that does show in the price because when you're paying for Disney World, you're paying for those four parks and the two water parks. But with Disneyland Paris, you're just paying for the two parks. So it does tend to be cheaper going to Disneyland Paris. Um, as I said, I don't know what the prices are really like from uh, where you're watching this from. Um, but personally, from here in the UK, it is a lot, lot cheaper to go to Disneyland Paris. But as I said, you're getting more for your money by going to Walt Disney World. Um, but we are, we are talking about the uh, Disneyland Park and Magic Kingdom. So, in all honesty, if it came down to price, then definitely it would be Disneyland Park that would be the better option if you're looking at price. If you've been to any of the Disney parks, you'll know that the prices do change depending on when you go. So for example, if you were to go to Walt Disney World uh, in the summer, it is, t it is generally going to be more expensive than if you went in February, March time. Um, so yeah, it all depends on when you go really, um, but Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World is generally going to be more expensive than Di the Disneyland Paris. Of course, it also depends on what hotel you stay in as well. So if you're staying on Disney property, it is going to cost more, but of course it's going to be more convenient for you to get to the parks. And if you're in uh, Walt Disney World, there's obviously other theme parks in the area as well, like Universal and SeaWorld. Um, so it all depends on what's most convenient for you. Uh, if you're just going to be sticking with Disney, then it's probably best to uh, go into a Disney hotel. Uh, but if you want to go travel into the Universal Parks and other theme parks in the area, uh, then maybe just stay at another hotel to save a bit of money. But with Disneyland Paris, staying on property is 
probably your best option but of course that's going to cost a little bit more um, for example what well, I usually stay at Hotel Cheyenne uh, which is like a Toy Story themed uh, hotel at Disneyland Paris and if you stay there for a few days it usually comes to about £1,000 um, but if you go over to Walt Disney World and stay in one of their hotels it's going to cost you a little bit more depending on uh, which hotel you're staying in uh, if you're staying in one of the deluxe resorts, you're looking at approximately 10,000 plus. It all depends on what you go for. But if you're looking at price and you want something cheaper, I would definitely stick with Disneyland Paris. I just need to add that the prices that I've just mentioned, uh, they are what I've previously paid in the past for two of us to go. Um, but it might be different in your circumstance. There might be less of you, there might be more of you. Um, and it also depends, as I said, when you go throughout the year. Uh, so if you are planning on going to either of the parks, then check online and try and find the cheapest option for you. Now let's talk about the weather. Now it doesn't take a genius to figure out which one's the hottest of the two parks, seeing as one's based in Florida and the other one's based over in Paris. So with Florida, uh, Disney World and uh, Magic Kingdom, no matter when you go throughout the year, uh, whether it's the winter or the summer, you're generally going to get pretty warm weather. I mean during the winter months it might be a little bit colder, but it's still, you're still going to have pretty good weather. Also during the summer months, uh, such as June, July and August, you do get torrential rain at, at times throughout the day, uh, but that doesn't tend to last too long. Um, so whenever you go to Florida, you're generally going to get really good weather. Um, but also with June, July and August, they are super, super, super hot. So if you don't like really hot weather, then I wouldn't recommend going during those months. Um, I, if, it up to, if it was up to me, I don't, I don't love really hot weather. Uh, so I would recommend to go during March, February, March time, where it's, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. With Disneyland Paris, I can't give you a definite answer on when the best time to go is in terms of weather. I mean, I'd probably recommend going in summer, but even then you can't guarantee it's going to be a super hot day. Um, I went a couple years ago and it was the hottest weather ever. It was a huge heat wave and I felt like I was over in Florida. Um, but that's not guaranteed uh, when you go. Um, if, you, if you don't like cold weather, then I would definitely avoid the winter months. Um, but yeah, I can't give you a definite answer on that one. Um, but anytime you go, whether it's hot or cold, it's always a magical time at the Disney parks. Um, but as I said, if you want hot weather, then I'd definitely recommend Florida. And if you don't really care, then I'd go to Disneyland Paris. So next, let's talk about crowd levels. Now, the Disney parks, they're the most visited theme parks in the entire world. And Magic Kingdom is the most visited theme park in the entire world. So whenever you go, you, you're probably going to come across a lot of people. There's going to be huge crowds whenever you go. Um, there are different months throughout the year which are, tend to be a little less quieter uh, than others. So for example, um, February, March, uh, January, February, March time, they tend to be a little bit more quieter um, than if you were to go in June, July, August, the summer months. Um, they tend to be super busy and also during uh, public holidays as well uh, spring break Christmas um, and even the Halloween events now they've started to get super super popular and um, so you've got to take those into consideration when going to Magic Kingdom because um, it's always going to be busy but if you do want to try and avoid those crowds I would head there in the winter months uh, but having said that uh, as I said earlier in the video it is going to be slightly colder for you with Disneyland Paris, it is generally the same. I mean, it's always going to be busy there, but there are some months uh, which will have lower crowd levels. Uh, so again, I'd probably say January, February, March uh, are the best times to go there uh, if you want to avoid the crowds. Um, Christmas time and other events like that, um, if you want to avoid the crowd levels, I'd probably avoid uh, that, those times and those holidays. But with both parks, you're always going to come across high crowd levels. So you've just got to take into consideration the other aspects such as um, the weather and the prices and all of that. Um, but yeah, I definitely would avoid uh, the summer period if you don't want to come across those uh, the highest crowd levels. Uh, and I'd aim for the winter months. So overall, in terms of crowd levels, I would have to go with Disneyland Park. 
uh, with Magic Kingdom. It is the most visited theme park in the world. So whenever you go, you're always going to come across super high crowd levels there. Uh, but with Disneyland Park, it is a little bit more quieter. Uh, obviously, you'll still come across high crowd levels, but it is not as bad as Magic Kingdom. So next up, let's talk about the designs of the parks. Now, both parks, they both have pretty similar layouts. I mean, they all pretty much have the same areas. They do look a little bit different in some ways, uh, but they do have the same themed areas and also some of the same rides as well. Um, but overall, in terms of the, how uh, the parks look, I have got to say that personally, uh, Disneyland Park, uh, it does look better. Um, this is my personal opinion. You might have a different opinion to me on this one, uh, but I do think that the, the Disneyland Paris Park does look better. First of all, let's talk about the castle. Uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle just looks incredible. It looks amazing. I mean, with Magic Kingdom's castle, Cinderella's castle, uh, that also looks amazing. I mean, the, uh, the paint job that they did on it last year in 2020, it's made it look a lot better. Um, and I really, I really do love that castle. Um, but I have got to say that Sleeping Beauty Castle is just a little bit better. Uh, and also, it's got a dragon underneath it. It's got a dragon underneath the castle. So you, you can't really beat that, can you? Um, but yeah, both castles are amazing. But I have got to say, Sleeping Beauty's castle wins. Uh, and along with that as well, uh, it's just everything else about uh, the Disneyland Park and uh, Disneyland Paris. Um, just all the flowers they use, all the different bits of scenery. It just looks... It just looks a little bit better than Magic Kingdom to me. As I said, that is my opinion. Both parks still look incredible. They both look amazing, but Disneyland Park just looks slightly better in my opinion. But yeah, you might have a different opinion. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. Right then, so let's talk about food. The different food options available at both Magic Kingdom and Disneyland Paris. And I'm gonna cut straight to the chase because one outshines the other by a long shot, and that is Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is incredible for food options. There's so many different snacks and drink options. Uh, there's just so much to choose from. Whereas Disneyland Paris and Disneyland Park, there isn't a huge variety. I mean, you still have some of the snacks and whatnot, uh, all the Mickey shaped stuff, um, but there isn't as much of a variety when you get at Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom has some incredible snacks that are themed around all sorts of different rides and characters and all sorts and different events. Uh, so if you're visiting over Christmas, you can find some um, Christmas themed snacks at the Christmas parties, uh, like Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Uh, and also at the Halloween events as well, you've got different Halloween um, related snacks and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there's so much more variety at Magic Kingdom. Uh, whereas Disneyland Paris, it does it does lack a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It would be great if Disneyland Paris could work on their food options and add a little bit more variety. I mean, there's no reason for them uh, not to be able to do that. Uh, so it would be great to see that in future at the Disneyland Park. Um, but yeah, overall, Magic Kingdom wins this one by a long shot. Finally, let's talk about the rides. Now, as I said earlier, both parks, they are pretty similar to one another. And along with that, they both have the same rides. Um, they're not exact clones of each other. Um, they do have little differences, um, but they do tend to be the same rides. So you've got a Big Thunder Mountain at Magic Kingdom, uh, a Big Thunder Mountain at uh, Disneyland Park. You've also got Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got uh, two versions of Space Mountain. Um, you, pretty much every ride there um, you can find at both parks. Uh, there's just a few uh, a few rides that are missing um, at one of the parks, uh, and that is Disneyland Park. Uh, you won't find Splash Mountain there, and you also won't find Jungle Cruise there either. Uh, but other than that, you do tend to find the same rides at both parks. But as I said, they're not clones of each other, and that means that at both parks there is going to be one ride that outshines the other one slightly. And I have got to say that Disneyland Park does win this one. I mean, Magic Kingdom, they have some great rides and some of the originals as well. Um, Magic Kingdom's been open for 50 years this year, um, whereas Disneyland Paris hasn't been open as long. So Magic Kingdom, it does have the classics, but in my opinion, the Disneyland Paris versions are much better, uh, most of them anyway. Uh, take for example Big Thunder Mountain, that's the main example I've got for you here because the Disneyland Paris version of Big Thunder Mountain is so much more better than the Magic Kingdom version of Big Thunder Mountain. I mean I do love the Magic Kingdom version, uh, but Disneyland Paris' version of Big Thunder 
is is so much better in so many ways. Uh, I mean, you go under a, at the start of the ride, you go under a, a river and you're on a whole separate island. The whole ride takes place on a separate island uh, in the middle of like a river. Uh, so, um, yeah, it, it wins. It wins this one. Um, not only that, you've got the uh, Space Mountain as well. Hyperspace Mountain at Disneyland Paris is, is better in my opinion. Um, and even Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I prefer personally uh, the Disneyland Paris version. You've also got Phantom Manor as well, uh, which is Disneyland Paris' version of the Haunted Mansion. And uh, now both versions of that ride are amazing. Um, I can't really tell you which one is better out of those two. Um, but Phantom Manor, it did get a, a big update a couple years ago. Um, so I probably would have to go with that one just because it's had the update. Um, but both of those rides are really good. Um, but overall, overall, I have got to say that Disneyland Paris does have better versions of the rides. But again, that's my opinion. And if you have a different opinion, then let me know down in the comments below. So there we have it, the pros and cons of each of those Disney parks. Now I have to pick an overall winner. Um, it is a very difficult one for me because I love both parks. Uh, I love both of them. They're both amazing. And so it is hard to pick a winner. Um, but personally, uh, and as I've said throughout this video multiple times, it is my personal opinion. Uh, but overall, I have got to go with Disneyland Park at Disneyland Paris. It, it only beats it slightly um, just for a few different reasons. And that is the price um, and also um, along with that, the rides, the rides, that's a huge part of the, of the park for me because I love rides and I love thrill rides and Disneyland Park, they just, they just do it a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it only, it only just beats it slightly, but both parks are amazing. You're probably going to have your own opinions. Um, they're both great. They're both great parks, but Disneyland Park just beats it for me. If we were talking about the resorts as a whole, uh, I would definitely have to pick Walt Disney World over the Disneyland Paris Resort, uh, just because they do it so much better there. Uh, I mean, you've got those four amazing parks over at Walt Disney World, along with those two water parks. Um, whereas Disneyland Paris, you've only got the two parks. And by having four theme parks and two water parks, it means there's so, so much to do there. Um, you've also got Disney Springs as well. Uh, there's just so much to do at Walt Disney World. Uh, you run out of time even if you're there for two weeks. Whereas at Disneyland Paris, um, that's the complete opposite. Because there's two parks, you, you kind of do everything very, very quickly there. So um, where you can run out of time with two weeks at Walt Disney World, you can go to Disneyland Paris for a weekend and have everything done by uh, halfway through your second day. Uh, I mean, you could probably do everything in one day at, at Disneyland Paris. So if we were talking about resorts, Walt Disney World would definitely win. Um, but we're talking about the individual parks, Disneyland Park and Magic Kingdom. Um, and in my opinion, Disneyland Park just beats it slightly. But as I said, that is my opinion. If you have your own opinions, then let me know them all down in the comments below because I would love to know your thoughts on which one's better. Um, but yeah, there we have it. That's it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of these in future. Maybe we can compare the two Universal Parks uh, or we can compare uh, the Hollywood Studios and Walt Disney Studios as well because there are some huge differences between those two parks. Or maybe even compare some of the UK parks as well like Alton Towers and Fort Park. Um, so if you want me to make more of these videos, then let me know down in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.